And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new deck, Twisted University. This is University of Piltover. Y'all know that I'm a big fan of this card and I want to keep just trying and experimenting with different shells with it. <clears throat> so we're going to be playing it with Bilgewater with Twisted Fate. So if we look at our deck, we're going to have a real low curve and we're going to be focused on um, being able to discard cards. So we have 12 one mana cards. We have 11 two mana cards. So over half of our deck is going to be costing one or two mana. Besides that, eight three mana cards. So basically everything is costing one through three mana besides one Twisted Fate, one University, and one Vi. Going to go with Vi as our other champion in this deck. So we're going to have a um, real low cost, cost deck. Uh, we can kind of rifle through it um, with a lot of like discard and draw effects and go and try to get University of Piltover. Because basically University of Piltover, as you can see, round start, discard your hand. But we will probably have an empty hand because we have a low cost um, hand where we can get through everything. And every single turn we're going to be creating three random cards. And some of them will be great, some of them not so much. But for like our, we still get our draw step each turn. But for our draw step, maybe we draw like some dredger and we can uh, filter through one of those fleeting cards that we don't need. Find something else. Same with urchin, rummage, we could discard a couple, that kind of stuff. Um, we also have uh, the combination of powder kegs with your make it rain, your mystic shot, your get excited. PNZ has a couple of very good uh, burn spells. They can work out even better with powder kegs. So we have um, that kind of stuff in our deck as well. Um, and then even a higher gun to help us kind of take down some bigger stuff. So I just want to try out more University of Piltover uh, shells. And we're going to try that with this uh, uh, build water to go along with that. So let's go play five games over in ranked. Let's see how it does. Um, so the point of our deck is to have a lot of low cost cur card, a, lo <laughs> a lot of low cost cards that we can empty our hand, get good value with them, and then have University of Piltover uh, be able to be our late game engine that can uh, keep giving us an extra three cards a turn. I kind of like this hand. I think I'm just going to keep it. So Ash, Sejuani, Trundle. They're going to be going big. If this is kind of similar to normal... <clears throat> The similar to normal um, Freljord plus Noxus decks like this, they usually have a lot of things that are um, pretty decent targets for Make It Rain. It's like maybe they have like the 5-1 Challenger or they have 3-1 Ice Veil Archer. Those are both good cards to Make It Rain besides Omen Hawk. Sometimes they'll play Afro and Sentry, the 2-1. So we're going to just pass, keep our Make It Rain available. A three spell mana. All right, I'm gonna make this block. I could see them playing Avros and Trapper, playing a three three. <clears throat> this turn. Pass turn, huh? We got a lot of options. I'll, buy some time. I'll just attack. The trap is set. There's Avros and Trapper. Definitely thinking about going Twisted Fate Gold Card. Certainly considering that. Um, could just Mystic Shot. I guess I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna Mystic Shot and probably go Twisted Fate Blue Card. Cards usually equals better. Many tribes under one banner. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Our banner will lead the way. You got legs. Use them. Set yeah, Twisted Fate has great voice lines for sure. I need 
<laughs> no, 1-1. One, one. I was just, I was hoping to get like a, a two power thing that could challenge the Avaraz and Hearthguard. That was kind of my plan. You know, setting setting up powder keg, make it rain to be able to take this thing down. Ugh. without me. Few earn the right to call themselves mm. Trifarian. Things are just too big. Didn't know the boss had said for you. Don't know much, do ya? This would be a good time to draw University of Piltover. Start refilling our hand. Because a reckoning would obviously be very bad. I have eight cards in hand, thanks to the Trifarian Assessor. So I'm digging, I'm looking for University. Going blue card. I think this just blocks. Yeah. Hmm. I'm always up for a round or two. Frostbite cards are awesome. At a university. We'll see if it's able to take down all these things. Probably not. They have a million cards in hand. I guess I should just be casting my Mega Rain. We're going to discard it. Some random stuff here. Be nothing left when I'm done. I think I'm leaving the cursed keeper on the bench because it can't block. Is yours. Those that fell were never lost. I like this Stellacorn of just like healing my Nexus. I do like that. But I think I'm going to rummage it away. I think I'm going to play Wild Claw instead. I will unite the Frail Yord. <laughs> so like the problem the problem with kill like as you can tell, so that like their whole board is full. So the problem with just going Mystic Shot killing an enraged Yeti is that that just allows them to just replay, you know, just play some other unit on there where like the enraged Yeti is. Like that's not even good for me. I think it's still worth playing the Mystic Shot instead of rummaging Mystic Shot though. So we're going to just play it and uh, do three damage to them. But no, we can't really can't really beat, you know, Assessor draw three, Assessor draw three, and Reckoning kill five. You know, so like five for one Assess, you know, Reckoning, and then. Three for one, three for one. Well, not even three for, three for zero, three for zero. We're not going to be beating that. Oh, 
Overgrown Snapvine could be sweet. The game's over, but it could have been sweet. <laughs> okay, well, if, we, if we're going to struggle against large units, might as well play against deep. They don't have any large units over there, right? And keep all this. My plan is to play... My plan is to play Twisted Fate, have Rummage help level up Twisted Fate, basically just be discarding whatever we draw in these turns. So I have to pass. I don't want to play Dreadway Deckhand. And then they... <clears throat> Don't want to play Dreadway Deckhand. And then they just challenge my Powder Keg. For free. So doing that does give me extra spell mana. Sure, let's do it. I'm always up for a round or two. So going towards the level up with Twisted Fate. Blue as the serpentine. Man, get excited's a good card. I'm definitely plan like I'm planning on playing university this turn. That does mean that I discard my get excited. That's not too bad for, for getting all these new cards every turn. Sorry, get excited. They are at six. Man, and they're still just playing these things? Yeah, we don't we don't know what's in their hand, but I guess they're they're gonna get okay, so they're gonna get three sea monsters this next turn. So yeah, they're just yeah, so they get three sea monsters, so that's actually gonna be pretty sweet. You know, like these are all gonna be like six and seven mana things. Oh, no, they're not getting three sea monsters. They're getting two. Oh, come on, really? Keel breaker? Hesitation to tell. Keel breaker, come on. I wonder why they play that before Keel Breaker. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna have six mana, so we're gonna have like Urchin plus Onlooker plus Bull Elnuck. Um, but actually, let's discard the Bull Elnuk. Okay, cool. We're just blocking here anyway. It's not really too much difference between between which one to play. I don't think that this is going to work out very well with for me. As far as how this pick a card, so I was thinking about how this is going to work. I think this is going to be me draw three and then we just discard them. 
I don't think this works out very well, but we're going to try it for science. Um, and I guess I, I guess I'd rather just have the extra spell mana available and play onlooker. But I don't think this is going to end well. Oh no, that mystic shot would have been good. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. Hopefully we get all these cards. Oh man, I really want those cards. No. I don't think that would end well. I had to try it for science. That sapling toss is pretty nice. Gives me the blue card. Um, that, that's going to give me a blocker next turn, even through Keel Breaker. The Keel Breaker will Fury of the North, our Twisted Fate. Oh no. Wait, this should still work. Because of red card. I'm a people person. And then we're going to go higher gun. Get bloody. So then we get to challenge their shipwreck order and kill it. Uh, Cause you know, we don't we don't get to choose who with a higher gun, but uh, challenge over here. All right, what else we got? Okay, dark water scourge, Kato. Oh, that card's not good. Those are some fearsome sea monsters. All right, Dark Water Scourge, go do some blocking for me, please. Soak it in. So yeah, their their landmarks were awesome, right? Their landmarks putting these things into play, getting these treasures. That landmark card's pretty good. I under, I definitely underrated that landmark card Not my first gun at fight. first. Go down to eight. Son of a Could have blocked with Twisted Fate, then played a new one, but no, we probably want to play these. All right, so we're going to play Wanderer or Kato. Where are we at? We're at 21 cards left. If I go Wanderer. I'm honestly not sure with Wanderer or Kato. Who says I don't share? Let's go Kato. I don't think that's that's very fair saying the landmark has been underwhelming for us. I mean, it's it's actually it's been keeping us alive. Have you seen what our opponents done with with their three landmarks of like getting the, the treasures and getting getting these things? It's not easy to stay alive. Like, look, look what our our landmarks doing. It's could win this game for us if they don't have. If they don't have Vengeance, this is just a game. We're going to gold card this thing. Like I said, I don't need to play another one. Like, they have to have, like, Atrocity or Vengeance or something like that. Which we know, we know right here they're only drawing champions. Boom! Look at that university! It was Look at that. Twisted Swain. I think this is going to be a good matchup, to, a good test to see if our deck is good enough or not. So the thing is, I like all these cards. I don't know if I really want to discard any of these to the Urchin. 
There we go. I was gonna say, but we have a draw stab. To see if there is something we want to discard to the urchin. This kind of feels like a mega rain, doesn't it? Hey, Dark Dragoon. Ooh, I love I love that trade. I'm gonna wait on playing the deckhand. All right, so we're just even up right now. Same number of cards and everything. Love it. Probably want to play Vi first. Z Mads, hello. Never lost a fair game or played one. Who says I don't share? Twisted Fate's still good. So my plan is, you know, Mystic Shot, Twisted Fate. Um, play Vi. And then the following turn, Piltover. They do have an auction fervor. Okay. I'll let them have that. So maybe we wait one turn before the university to play these other things. Yeah, yeah, Lisa and Zed did real well. What's wanted to do Charmander Day? What's Charmander Day? I'm always up for a round or two. Hold it, partner. Okay. They're going with that with Flock. They the reason why they killed this thing and not the other thing was definitely Ravenous Flock. All right, we got a new Vi. Um, but yeah, yeah, Lisa and Zed did real well and, and won it very quickly and convincingly. Also, stop swinging them big fists around, Vi. Stick around, I'll show you. Okay, just playing Pokemon Go. That's that's Charmander Day. Gotcha. <laughs> Ouch. Won't let me challenge this Twisted Fate. Root of them. Like trouble. But definitely planning on going Piltover and Mystic Shot this turn. Like <laughs> Start getting a whole bunch of new cards every single turn. Well, I would like to take down Zap Sprayfin. I think we're going to just rely on Vi to try to take down Zap Sprayfin, I think. And kill the Twisted Fate because of, you know, its level up ability and that's super scary. And if they do, if they are able to, like, stun my Vi or save it or something. We protect these woods as they protect us. Of course that means that means Riptide Rex. And that means I'm sad. Here's the fun part. Basically the question is when like do I want to play like how do I want to do this? And I, I guess I think this is my best option. Okay, well it's not Riptide Rex at least. Wanted to, wanted to get that spray fin out out of here before. We'll play third by. Master, your demons. I'm doing this my way. 
Alright, let's get something powerful. I love that Death Sand. This is just not bad overall. Death Sand can take down. That's kind of unbeatable. Nothing escapes my watch. Artillery barrage! Lead for Noxus. Or where that came from. Can't do too much with this. I mean obviously so we can rummage away a couple of things. Does this only give Okay, you can only give enemies. I can't I can't put this on my own thing and then kill my own thing. Unfortunately. For the homestead. Uh, let's get to the fun part. Safeguard our homes. Yeah, Swain plus Leviathan still still awesome. They unfortunately had those those two ravenous blocks take down my Vi's, at, you know, Vi's card that I need to have unlocked here. Fight the signal fires. They'll be blood in the water. Jeez. Alright, so I, I cannot win this game anymore. So I'm gonna play a second university. Because people were people were complaining about this last time we played the university, of me not playing the second university, thinking that we would be able to discard our hand and we would be able to create six random cards, but that's not how this card works. Yeah, this game's over. So not I mean twisted fate, we can't we can't do anything. So I will show um just a blue card. Just to see. Make sure. Yeah, I definitely think Ravenous Flock should be doing three damage. Blue as the Serpentine. Not four. Also. Yeah. It is a good strategy. Alright, so we'll so I'll show y'all how how will how this will work. It's a good good strategy playing the Uber busted cards. Ravenous Flock, Riptide Rex. Petty officers one too. But. Alright, let's see. See, it should go left to right. See, like this one resolves first, and now this one resolves, and those get discarded. So, just for the people, for the people saying that we would draw six, that is not how it works. We still get three. Two universities do not help you. Is usually Vi's really difficult for them to deal with. They're, they have like the one card. That's super efficient with the ravenous flock, and they had those ravenous flocks. So, GG's. Hey, there you go. Yeah, Hogtie Bot sends you the link there. Just yeah, head on over there, pockets. That looks like something I have to kill immediately. Keep them from ramping. Basically doing it this way because I want to have my two mana available. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Witness glory. How useful are you going to be make it rain later on? Uh, no, I don't think the Jinx would be better in this deck. I just think that I think the Vi is just a, a better card. I think Vi is just a really good card. <clears throat> Alright, so we won't play Mega Rain. Yeah, we can still get another Powder Keg. 
with Petty Officer. We're going to start with this Twisted Fate level up. Always got time for start going towards that. Right. You and me both. I'll have them waste their turn. It's good for my Twisted Fate. Keep wasting turn. <clears throat> so we're at three out of eight. All right, so I'll be leveled up to a fate. And level up Twisted Fate's usually super difficult to deal with. Okay, so... Um, Gotta trust your am I playing University of Piltover this turn? I guess the answer is no. With how our hand looks. So we, I will just discard it here. Soak it in. Cool. Got one for a future turn. I don't know what I want to play. I want to like wait for Jagged Butcher until after red card, and I want to have higher gun be able to go to something bigger. I guess I'm just gonna play this Mega Rain. That will just kill this Priestess to go along with the red card. We don't really need gold card. There's plenty of killing left. I guess I should be playing Urchin first to get full information. Success. Get you noticed around here. Huh. Get bloody, get paid. Time to make some coin. Attack! Alright, so they're down to seven. Still a good turn for us. We had, like, five things get killed, and then we still played another five things right after. So if I go landmark this turn, I either get to get excited or some treasure, and then discard the other. I think that's okay, but now we'll start drawing a whole bunch of new cards. Double Kindly Tavern Keeper. Like those are really good blockers on these things. I think it's get excited. Yeah, it's just get excited. So let's put them both at 3-2. So one of them can trade with the Jagged Butcher, but then the other one tries trading with these. It will die. Are we? Ah, uh, we're not enlightened, are we? Thermogenic Beam? Don't stand in my way. Let's talk about your death. So I decide I think it's best to wait. I, you know, I wanted to play Vi first, but then if they have another Ice Quake, I thought that could kind of be bad. Wise Fry. I like this repost. 
This repose could be pretty cool. Sunlight guiding my brethren. <laughs> Wise fry. Um, I hope that wasn't an obliterate card. Is the Undying better than Zonite Urchin? Maybe it is. I guess it is, because, I mean, we get the blue card and we get the mana. We still play Repost, but we have to play the Undying first. I wanted to be able to block and, you know, play the Undying afterwards, but... I have to do it this way. See how they're passing. All right, let's go Barrier here. Just so we can get the red card. Really? These zero mana challengers are playing them at perfect times. Okay. We got some cool cards here. What is this thing? Life Steal and Spell Shield? Alright, that one's not so cool. Dark Water Scourge, not that necessary. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they can't predict any of our plays, can they? So they're at nine cards. Soak it in. Get our blue card again. Blue as the serpentine. All right. So you're going to challenge the white flame protector. So we'll stun that thing. <clears throat> Go red card. And there we go. GG's. See, university is sweet. That stands for victory. So I think we saw like with that game, we're able to play a bunch of super cheap cards and get ahead. And then once we get ahead, then we have our Twisted Fate, we have our university, we are, we're not running out of cards, right? Like that's the thing about like playing all those cheap cards is usually you run out and they stabilize, but we don't run out. <laughs> So yeah, not only not only do they have no idea what to expect or what to try to play around or anything like that, but we also just we just never run out of gas, and so they, they can't really stabilize. Um, this is expensive. I guess we get rid of the rummage. Yeah, let's get rid of the rummage. Get make it rain. Nope. We could just keep rummage though, I suppose. Just keep rummage. Where are you? Uni the v University of Piltover is just a really cool card and, and just pretty underrated in my opinion. And we're going to just keep on trying out just different things for it. Keep showcasing it. I'm, I think that there's a, a good University of Piltover deck somewhere. It may not be this one. It could be this one. You know, it's somewhere. We're going to keep trying it with different regions and stuff. I think both of our wins were against control, right? I think with this deck, what, what you're going to struggle with is you're going to struggle with the very large deck, like decks with very large units. Like, so like, like mid-range Frostbite, um, for example, like that's that's a nightmare. And then, you know, so like that was one thing that we lost to, and then we also lost to Leviathan plus Wayne. Those are very large units. Um, that's, that's where we're going to struggle are the, the really big units that, that kill you really fast, hit really hard. Um, and, and just the really big effects, you know, like your, your Reckoning, like Reckoning and having, and just the combo of, twi of 
of uh, Swain and Leviathan in play, like that combo of stunning everything, reckoning, like those huge effects, that's where we're going to struggle. You know, like Riptide Rex. Something for all of you. Things that just completely wipe out our board, but then also are huge damage threats. You know, like like Reckoning wipes out your board, and that means they have big power in play. Um, Riptide Rex wipes out your board, and they get a seven four. Swain Leviathan wipes out your board. So would I take this trade if they so they could trade off their Callista and kill my Twisted Fate? I have another Twisted Fate in hand. I think I would take that trade. Um you know, Swain Leviathan stuns stuns your board and kills you super fast. So like that's those are the things that we're gonna be struggling against. And two of our three games so far we faced that. Um, but like they who endure, that can be bad. They who endure can definitely be bad. Everyone's a god. <laughs> the real question is, how has Rex made it through all these nerfs without being touched? I know, right? That is the real question. How has Riptide Rex never been nerfed? That is the real question. You would have thought it would have by now. Come this way. Hold still. He should be blocking the other way around. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. Yeah, should have been blocking the other way around. If it ain't little miss punch. Where's your better half? That egg? Did it move? Lady luck is trouble coming at ya. So Twist Fate's about to be at two next turn, and then we cast pick a card, cast rummage. <laughs> next turn. And then when it goes back to our turn, Twisted Fate's leveled up after the pick a card. And this. I could also wait and cast the rummage on my turn as well. So basically we're not gonna be playing the university for a little bit that may end up getting rummaged away because we may just find another university because we're gonna be drawing a lot of cards oh, that's terrible for me because that means that the fact that they're willing to do that means one they have probably have a, the third blighted caretaker but two or they're just killing a whole bunch of things for other options they're killing a bunch of things for um they who enter and i can't stop they who enter they who enter is just too big for my Bilgewater PNZ deck. <laughs> I can't stop 13-13 Overwhelms. So we're at eight. That makes it nine. Put that thing down to one. Okay, that make it rain could be good. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. I mean, I want to play, you know, Vi and University, but I guess we can't. Well, let's see. No, because then we have... Oh, no, no, because we're in a blue card. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so I can play one of the two, Vi or University. 
I think I'd rather have University in play. And then basically, whatever we draw, so it's going to get discarded along with Vi to the Rummage. And those will just get discarded also. Because then that will red card. And then they have to, like, Atrocity at that point, and then I respond with Mega Rain. Because, I, yeah, basically I just wanted to get all those those cards, but yeah, I guess I could have done Vi this turn and then University next turn. I guess I could have done that. I'm thinking, so basically I'm thinking that, like, how they're beating me is is this kind of stuff, and I don't have answers in my deck for They Who Endure, but University gives me the opportunity to maybe find answers. It's it's a long shot, but I don't have answers in my deck for They Who Endure. That's what I was kind of thinking. But this is actually probably just going to work out really well for us anyway, right? Because we have the attack token this turn, so we're probably just going to be killing them this turn. So I guess I should have just played Vi because we're just going to be killing them this turn. We get stun. Yeah, Something for all. University gives you just random cards, not random cards in your regions, just random cards. It doesn't have to be cards in your region. I guess Jagged Butcher attacks for more. So yeah, like we can get vengeance. This. Yeah, that th I should have just played Jagger Butcher. It's like Vile Feast. That's what I was worried about here is Vile Feast. Like they Vile Feast my Vile Feast that thing block. Okay, dealt more damage by Jagger Butcher. Alright, we got there. Hey giant monster game, good afternoon. So yeah, I was focused on finding an answer for for that, but I should have been focused on just killing them, so Vi would have been the better play. Definitely. But that's okay. So got the win. Three and two. I don't know, our deck actually looked pretty deep, pretty good. You know, so we lost to the deck with, you know, with Reckoning, like the mid-range Frostbite, like that's going to be just a terrible matchup. Like that deck destroys small unit decks, and all their stuff is way too big for my Mystic Shots and make it rains and get excited, so. Um, that's going to be a tough matchup. Um, and you know, don't feel bad about losing that one. And then you know, lost to Leviathan plus Swain. Uh, we were looking good in the game until they dropped Swain and Leviathan. <laughs> uh, I could handle one, and and they also besides that, they were able just to kill all my Vi's. Like, right, like they just had a ravenous flock for each Vi, and so I I didn't have I wasn't able to have Vi be able to challenge Leviathan or Swain because they just kept on killing my Vi's with with da little damage than than ravenous flock. Um, so that, those were our two losses, but then our, our wins, we looked pretty good. And I liked the university, the university, you know, it gave us that win against the deep deck. The deep deck did some crazy stuff and we were able to get that win thanks to university. And, and then even the, the second deck that we beat, um, also university was a big part of that win. The thing is, is like you get the three random cards every turn. And a lot of the time the cards aren't that great, <laughs> but it's just, sometimes they are very good but then um you know it's just three cards every turn is just so much value and you just you can you can basically throw away cards whenever they're not that great you know you could just chump block stay alive you're gonna outgrind people and we saw that with um twisted fate you know like twisted fate whenever we have leveled up twisted fate which we were able to do quite a bit getting all you know getting these four extra cards every turn meant that we ha always had gas for blue card red card gold card all the time because we were just getting so many cards and um, multiple times we got like protection for Twisted Fate, right? Like, he, you know, the university making like the, getting us the, um, the Fury of the North. That was clutch for Fury of the North on the Twisted Fate so that it didn't die to a 7-7 seven, seven Devourer of the Depths. That was clutch. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, so, you know, Reckoning and Riptide Rex. Yep, those are the two cards we lost to and then we were able to beat everything else. So just a really cool deck. I liked it. Yes, I think Vi is better than Jinx. I think that the Vi can take can just be. Uh, I think with with this kind of deck, you want like some some uh, board board presence, board clear, uh, 
like removal for big things. Like Jinx isn't going to help you kill a Swain or a Leviathan, but Vi can. You know, Vi can take down a Swain or a Leviathan, that kind of stuff. So I, I like the Vi quite a bit because it can take down really big things. All right, but that's Twisted University. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. You got other ideas for University of Piltover? Let me know. Let me know what you think of this new deck. Um, anything like that. Love seeing those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.